We're going to do this again, and thanks to Dark. Swan Media Studios, deep inside a secret underground bunker. We're speaking to freedom-loving patriots from all around the country and the world. Welcome to the resistance. This is John Crump, live. And we are back for a two, a Monday, it's a Monday, yeah, for the Monday edition of the John Crump Live podcast. We have a show today, Wednesday and Thursday. And with that, it's our usual Monday crew, including Flying Rich and the LD Epic Arc himself. Welcome to the Resistance. How are you guys doing? Yay. Excellent. How are you, sir? Um, Actually, I scheduled Chris from the 740 for Tuesday. If Chris could do Wednesday, and I'm asking him because he's in the chat now, just I let me know, Chris. That, uh, that I know you did. I thought about it you know, later after I booked Chris. All right. Uh, Chris, sorry. So, so Chris wants the full. I'll, I'll go tomorrow with Chris if, if he can't do Wednesday. But I thought Wednesday we had Josiah. Is no, not this month. Oh, not this. Okay, whatever. All right. I don't yeah. think. It, yeah, no, that's not till May. Oh, okay, whatever. Welcome uh, to no. scheduling with John Crump Live. I don't <laughs> know. I need these are new. I, I did not put it on your calendar. I don't know. Uh, well, this the, is good. Who cares? Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and talk about what is going on because there is a lot of stuff happening here and you guys Thanks, are going to see the stuff happen shortly here i am launching a new investigation and it's going to be freaking spectacular i am investigating an investigator I didn't get the heads the up. that no, wasn't brought up at our morning meeting and, oh you yeah, weren't there um, no one did um, I've been working on this. The first article will drop either today or tomorrow, and I'm going to drop a video to go along with it explaining what is going on. But I am going to give you guys a little sneak peek of what it is, if that's okay with you guys. For sure, for sure. What do you got? Remember the news that we broke that got stolen by Project Veritas? Oh, which, yeah. Which yeah. time? Oh. That the MVE awesome. stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I got all the documents now. A lot of documents. Like, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot of documents. Uh, somebody wants the breaking news stuff. We are also on the Fire and Radio Network. If you listen to audio only, we're back on there. But, yeah, so basically I got a bunch of documents from the FBI talking about different things like a RMVE. Every time I say it, I end up saying Vietnamese. But it's not Republican? 
is that no. right wing? No, racially Radical? motivated or ethnically racially. motivated uh, uh, violent extremist. I'm going to give you a little thing where I find a little bit interesting about it. Hmm. What, the Tomorrow Project Veritas is going to drop this? No, no, I freaking watermarked the shit out of everything. Okay. No, but what interesting thing is they just, I'm just giving you their definition of it. I'm going to read the definition right now. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to read it to you directly. All these documents will be available probably starting tomorrow. Well, not all of them, the, the, as I release them. So let me go ahead and define you what the what they consider a racially motivated or ethnically motivated violent extremist. So this intelligence assessment look at RMV RMVEs who advocate for the superiority of the right race and at Islamic extremists. That's the Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So it's whiteies and jihadists. No, no, no. It's it's, it's the, the first document is a collaboration between between the jihadis and the and the white supremacists. Oh, nobody told but, me my 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 dog whistle don't work. Yeah, my dog well, whistle. The, what I find interesting is they define RMVs as white supremacists. But as you and I Wait. know... White supremacist dog whistle hotline? My dog whistle's broken. Help me. But as you know, and I know, there's racist groups that are black groups, Hispanic groups, yep. Asian groups. You mean the Latin Kings? What are we talking about here? I would but, be very cautious saying anything about the Latin Kings at all. <laughs> or guys that call you up and show their uh, Gatling gun to you. I, I got nothing it, but love. It, 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 it was a mini gun. Kings. <laughs> mini gun. Uh, look, I, I didn't uh, want to say specifically, you know. Okay, you cannot confuse the cartel and the Latin Kings. Oh. Okay. I, I, <laughs> With with where I live, okay, I, I don't want there to be any confusion. I guess it's been a long time. Uh, I had a cartel spokesperson reach out to me a while ago. <laughs> Their oh, social dude. media wing of the cartel, <laughs> dude. I uh, dead ass. I would not talk about that. I'm I would not. Well, talk that, about that. That's all I'm saying about oh. it. <laughs> okay, and you guys got to understand, we haven't said anything about this for like four months. Okay, and when it happened, we all got on a call. Like, do not. Talk of it. He's like, what? I'll just, I'll just say it. We're like, there's no win. There's no win if Man, you say like, something. This is what's gonna happen? And like a month later, I'm like, hey, here's the video. <laughs> oh, burp, burp. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting time, and I have no idea. It was weird. I think I'm <laughs> changing my name, selling my house, and moving out of town. I would say that there could only be one type of uh, uh what would be a better Ooh, way to can, say can we can we pump the brakes on this for one second i'm sorry to go on a side quest here are we going to be doing um a uh, uh uncensored tonight i think so yeah i got it i got an idea for a topic well let's what talk about it, it offline not not here all right R remind me of my topic okay. right, just email it to me uh, i'll do it in the side chat and everyone, make sure that you uh, tune in tonight. Email it to me. Not like that. Email, text it. When I close it, text. This is my phone. phone. All right, all right, all right. I'll I'll, t I'll email. To both Guys, right. make sure you uh, tune in this evening at uh, 10 p.m. Right? That's yeah, 10 p.m. Uh, on Rumble uh, for Robert. Uncensored podcast. We, um, we, you can't say Rumble on YouTube. You can't direct people to go off platform to Rumble on YouTube. You gotta right, say the, the social topic. media platform that rhymes with humble. I'm going to kick Rich in a second. Let's stay getting, on topic. Getting back to uh, the conversation we were having, um, there's only one type of body, whatever uh, extension of that body, it may be guilty. 
there's only one place that a cartel could get operational parts of a minigun to from right like the i can only think of one way well a few ways but one place that a cartel a cartel we don't need to talk about which one that a cartel can get what they need to build a minigun from and it rhymes with schmunited schmates schmoverment <laughs> i'm just saying well according to them that's where they got it from oh and there it is folks It was saying. great knowing you guys. Um, <laughs> I've had a really good time uh, hanging out, but uh, unfortunately now I need to go. I don't even want to say, I can't say it because then they'll just use that against me. Um, anyway, uh, so yes, uh, carry on, Mr. Crump. Okay, so this getting back to the FBI thing. Uh, yeah. The FBI uh, has all these documents out and... G- G- got them from GOA because we broke the original story in GOA because one of the symbols was a Minuteman. They filed a Freedom of Information Act request. Mm-hmm. The FBI said, we're not turning it over to you. And Stambolia and Olson, Rob Olson and Stephen Stambolia, both said, the hell you're not, and uh, sued. Dang. And the AT, I mean the ATF, the FBI looked like that they were going to lose. So they entered into a consent agreement and supplied the documents. Because I broke the original story, GOA found it in their heart to send me all the documents to ship it to sort through. Since nice. it's not really gun related. And they don't have the bandwidth to go through all the documents, so they gave them to me. So yeah. you can have them. You can have the exclusives, whatever. So uh, I found a lot of interesting things, dealing with a lot of interesting groups. So it, it there's an interesting dynamic that I see here. you mind if I share really quickly? Okay, go ahead. So so here's what I see, um, and, and I'll kind of walk it back here a little bit. Do you guys remember when um that uh sad little man with baby hands tried to take apart the glock for two and a half minutes <laughs> uh and he just couldn't get it figured out you that, mean, that was he the director of fat d or, or what was what he was the guy's definitely role? had experience with fat d but i i don't know his exact role but but where he, he was referred to i'm not really sure what he did with the with the atf yeah yeah they he's he was referred to as a firearms expert um, with the ATF, whatever that that means. Um, and uh, dude, I okay, there, there's videos of guys like one handed manipulating the Glock, taking it completely apart, you oh, know, dude, to slide I, everything, and then putting it that. back together one handed. I don't know if you guys remember, oh, like, hard. I literally from hostage had a Glock here with the trigger yeah, I was timing you yeah yeah you you time me right and it was yeah. it was like 2.6 seconds from hostage down boom 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 back to hostage and and you were like yeah it was like two it was under three seconds for sure because there's a little bit of a delay between you know right. yeah yeah a little bit of delay anyway <laughs> that's why uh but and then of course like grantham did like the 15 glocks taken down and like on uh, like uh, half of the amount of time that that he anyway um here's why i bring that up i want you guys to to look at it how they very very creatively do things number one what did they have on that table they had illegal machine guns they had glock switches right what was that crumb two fairy coins (laughs) <laughs> oh man uh, uh, yeah we Those broke things. the code um uh, for people that don't understand what i was talking about on like the last episode we figured if you go to like dh gate and stuff and you search for tooth fairy coins and you click on the tooth fairy coins that seem overpriced some of them aren't it, tooth fairy coins <laughs> some of the options you have are like tooth fairy coins tooth fairy coin coin Glock switch, tooth fairy coin, tooth fairy coin, auto, uh, like super safety. Yeah. 
uh, or a completely unserialized SIG 320 lower <laughs> receiver. Don't fall for it, y'all. Do not fall for it. Um, either way, uh, it, here's what they did. They're creative. They had a table, and they're walking, I mean, really, America through this table. Now, as they walk America through the table, because that was a big deal, right? Like, that was a huge deal. I couldn't even tell you how many views those videos had from the major news outlets. And um, they showed illegal machine guns. Uh, they showed Glock switches. They showed drop-in auto sears. They showed, um, you know, uh, a bunch of illegal firearms, illegal machine guns. And then they showed, get this, uh, 80% firearms 80 percent glocks and 3d printed glocks that were recovered from from crimes apparently and then so they started showing legal firearms talking about straw purchases they started showing uh polymer 80 glocks they had a barret. 3d printed glocks a barrett they had all these guns that are completely legal like rich pointed to his 50 cal completely legal right 3d printed guns completely legal depending on on which state you're in right but what they're doing is they're taking something that originally had no you know m malice or any negative intent or anything at all and they're saying illegal machine guns all these machine guns people are dying and ghost guns and zombie guns whatever that is now and all these things and then 3d printed guns so these people are still looking like oh they're on this table that means they're bad so now the people that saw that and believed that horseshit or i'm sorry that garbage <clears throat> are now going to say okay machine guns and illegal machine guns and glock switches and dropping auto sears and all this stuff and 3d printed guns and 80 percenters and ars and 50 bmgs those are all in the same category so then you you start the general public starts lumping all those things into the same place. Now let's go back to originally the white papers that came out um, about, you know, um, militia violent extremists, right? A lot of us are like wearing that as, as a badge of honor because it's number one, it's hilarious, right? Because we want to be prepared because we actually understand what our natural rights are about, how our job is to be warriors of God and shoot tyrants in the face. They're they're taking something like militia violent extremists, people that train tac tactically. Now they're going to be coupling those things in with racially motivated violent extremists. And uh, what was the other one? Um, uh, uh, racially and ethically motivated or ethically yeah. motivated violent extremists. That's what are. You see how they take things that are really just normal like when me and and you and buddies go to the range and we train and we shoot we may have gear we may have it's the same thing as saying oh well these dudes they go you know play golf they, they spend thousands of dollars on equipment he has a driver that's three thousand dollars in titanium and and he has a a, a custom-made golf cart that's 10 grand and this is crazy this is insane the only difference is that your job isn't to protect my natural rights to golf. The federal government's only job is to ensure that my natural rights are not violated. And it just seems that all they do is violate our, our natural rights. Uh -huh. I said natural law. I meant natural rights. My apologies. A coop from CNT Designs and Arms, which you really should check out his channel, it says MV, MV of the month. Yeah. RMV or whatever. I did one with the Yeah, uh, seriously, I found the video that I'm going to release when the article goes up, but I kept on saying V mini. So I kept on having to re record. I have no idea why. Like, that's not me close. Hold up. The IDF has a fully armored bulldozer. Yeah, you didn't know that? No, that's gangster. Yeah, dude, they do. <laughs> Where'd they get the plants? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Is it uh, from Hemeyer. Hemeyer.org. Hemeyer Move on it, Rich. Move on it, Rich. Move on it. <laughs> you want to see what it looks like? Uh, sure. Yeah. Let's okay, I'm going to share it. You guys uh, on the audio only will not be able to see it, but the people who watch on John Crump Live on YouTube will be able to see it. And Hopefully, it they don't strike you for showing an image like they right. struck me for showing an image. Dark in the private chat. Tell me what you're thinking. 
Whoa! Oh, okay, so it's like RPG resistant also. Yeah, and they have a uh, machine gun on top. What uh, remotely controlled machine gun? What um my what model killdozer is that? I mean, a uh, bulldozer is that? Wow, definitely a Heemeyer three sixty five. I have, um, I don't see anything in private chat, Rich. No, no, I mean, like text me in private chat what you're thinking. Oh, uh, uh, it's a caterpillar D D nine. No way. Yeah. It's an up armored caliper with the remote control turret machine gun on it. Is is that uh it looks like an M2? Uh do you know what it is? Uh let's see here. <laughs> see, uh, we're we're like connected. We 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 have an umbilical cord going from uh Virginia and Florida. Um yeah, that that's insane. I had no idea. This is the fourth generation of it. What? I mean, dude, way to crash a party, right? Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna get an armored one wheel. Oh, they also have a a, a, a cat D nine L, a cat D nine N, a cat D nine R, and a cat D nine T. Is that different than Cat five? Yeah, I run Cat 8. Or Cat 6. Oh, Cat 8, <laughs> dude. It's Dang. just as cheap as the other ones, but... <laughs> Day well, isn't one for vertical and one's for horizontal? Uh, I, have, I have no idea. Um, man, that's crazy. Uh, I killed those two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let the dirt move. It kills and buries all. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, just joking. I have no idea. Two forty nine. Oh yeah, I couldn't tell what kind of machine gun it was. It kind of looked like an M two. I don't think it is um, a two forty nine. Yeah, he no. He said he was joking. I couldn't really see. It was actually pretty small compared to the scale. Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I don't think it's a U.S. gun. Joe, shoot a gallery in New England. How's it going, buddy? Are you back in Florida? Where, where are you right now? I'm I guess sorry. it depends. I guess they can put different guns on top of it. Yeah, I'm sure they came out whatever they want. I was just curious to what they were showing. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Is that on low? Uh, yeah. I think I messed with the settings, so it's. Uh, uh, oh, I think gotcha. the battery's low. Is it flashing? Yeah, it just flashed. Yeah, when it flashes, the uh, battery is low. This is the the same one: low, medium, high, low. It's like a a, a globe. <laughs> Dude, I'm so good. You ever seen the? Uh, sorry, it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, going back to it, so I guess all in all, what, what I was saying there before we went to the uh, Hemeyer Auto Parts uh, conversation was um, they they do their best to couple all these things together to blur the lines so the general public and so people, maybe some people that aren't as active or aren't politically active or, uh, you know, like most people uh, are half awake and, you know, have one eye closed. Uh in all of their life, they start to blur the lines on on what things are okay. So what a neighbor may see their neighbor in, you know, camo throwing some guns in the trunk and be like, oh, I need to call the police, you know? And uh, with everything they're positioning with red flags, with no knocks and all this stuff, it's like, man, you may it, it, wear your gun belt down your driveway to get in your car if you don't know your neighbors talk to your neighbors and and you know have a situation where you can prepare with your neighbors dude you may get red flagged for just driving to the range it's a it's a dangerous situation yeah it definitely is um you see what i'm saying about how they're blurring the lines on these different things yeah 
yeah, but it, there's definitely some stuff there. It's the it. We're gonna get into some of the later stories. We're gonna get into Antifa versus like proud boy violence and stuff like that. So it's gonna be definitely interesting. Yeah, thanks, Rip. He says uh, you're so right, dark, and sadly, it works on most Americans. Yeah, for sure. Marconi, what's up, buddy? If you guys haven't seen the new Marconi uh, 2.0 slide, that no, no, he doesn't have a new slide because he would have just sent me one out and charged me for it if he did. You know, I thought he, I thought he would do the same. I thought thing. I was like on the auto it. subscription, the, the yeah. special VIP Marconi I, auto I, subscription. No joke. I think he like immediately sold out, like literally oh, yeah. immediately sold out. Um, this one isn't being carried in other places, like. The other one, uh, you could go to like Rifle Supply, um, and obviously hit up Marconi if you're looking I thought for. Thought he was his... a friend. I, uh, I thought I was on the. V... Did I get kicked off the VIP list? Probably. He probably heard <sighs> your dad jokes. Oh, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying. I, I, I wouldn't blame him. Uh, so Rip Crow Readiness says that's something I actually worry about as much as I am loading and unloading hardware from going to the range and even just running errands. Dude, look, I, I feel you. I mean, I uh, a lot of times I run stuff in and out of my car and I I don't like the whole like uh, let me say it differently. I, I personally choose not to like open carry for my own personal reasons, several of my own personal reasons. Um, however, I do think normalizing what we do is important. So I don't like shield my stuff when I'm walking to and from the car in, in, on my driveway, my property, my house. Like, no, I'm going to walk out with that stuff and just throw it in the car and then peel out and go do what I do. Um, but then also don't make a tactical error on leaving it in your car for several days when people saw you <laughs> take it out there. Uh, I've certainly never done that. Right. Um, but then, you know. What do you mean? You don't have an MP5 and mags mag holders mounted to the top of the trunk of your car? Not mounted. So you just to pop the trunk. the trunk and no, no, not mounted to the trunk. But I will say, in MP5 and uh, six, seven magazines uh, usually lives in my car or in my other place over there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, I think about it too. It's like my oh, initial man. thought is to shield it from people so they don't see me so they don't steal my stuff out of my car so they don't call the police or or whatever but then i'm like dude i i don't want to hide what i'm doing what i'm doing is right and i want them to know that what i'm doing is right and okay and and it's weird that they're not doing it it's weird that i've never seen a gun printing through your clothes it's weird that i don't see you walking around you know with I don't see your extra mag when you bend over to pick up your kids. It's weird that, you know, your kids don't run up to me and say, my daddy's carrying a gun like mine does all the time. <laughs> I'm just saying uh, to people that don't carry guns, it's just strange. How, how could you live in today's day and age and not carry a gun? I do not get it. Well, our Canadian brothers who leave their keys at the front door. So when they get, you know, people the home invade to steal their car they can just hand their keys over fast yeah so there's less chance of them getting injured he just came home and to my home and just said you know uh he just said give me what you got and i said oh gee sure it looks like you need it so i gave it to the guy and i said would you like a glass of water with that that's kind of like irish and canadian anyway mm -hmm. it, it's like no don't we don't do that here that video we yeah, saw I yesterday say, like the, if that dude uh <laughs> Yeah. Plus he's Scottish too. <laughs> You'll never take our friend. Anyway, sorry. Um, I can't do accents. Okay. If you guys don't know me, I can't do accents. Um, but anyway, I, I I just that video we saw yesterday, okay. Do, do you want to describe you want to put the picture in their heads? So uh this is California. What what town was in California? Something called like San Jose or something. Yeah, San Josie and the Pussycats. And yeah. uh, there were three guys on one side of this guy's Corvette and one guy on the other side of the Corvette. And the other guy, the solo dude, had a like crossbody bag with his hand in the bag. And the other guys... Like, what does that usually arms... mean? 
What does I mean, that usually have mean? a hand on a damn gun? Yes, probably very and, likely. Y- y- very likely, and usually for folks listening in or, or watching, usually you're more likely to see that in like California, Chicago, Washington D.C., New York, places where you're not like allowed to carry firearms typically or where it's more restricted usually you see dudes with a crossbody bag or a book bag turned around on the front of them kind of like they're carrying a plate carrier and they'll have their hand in the bag so they won't even pull out the gun because also things and i'll give it right back to you rich uh, a lot of times what happens is they'll go rob somebody and then they'll be like what did the gun look like and they're like oh it's a red glock (laughs) <laughs> right and then they all of a sudden get get knocked because you know maybe they didn't have anything on them or maybe they didn't have you know whatever they spent the money buried it whatever but they find them with a red glock so a lot of times they'll actually tuck it in a crossbody bag a backpack that's backwards or something like that sorry go i ahead. got the video oh yeah and we can play it because we're allowed to play shorts now and it won't oh, right. uh yeah Boop, share, sunny. Uh, for everyone uh, listening, it is, uh, there's some strong language in this one. Uh, so it, it's not G rated? It's n- not G rated, unless you're talking about G for gangsta. Oh. Fuck you, come out! Don't fuck oh, you, fuck come, you out. come out! You fucking come out, I'm gonna shoot you! Don't come out! Do not come out! It's a fucking car, don't lose your life, dumbass! Do not lose your life over a fucking car! Do not lose your life over a fucking car! Fucking Fuck you, come out! Don't fucking come out! It's looping. You fucking come out, I'm gonna shoot you! Don't come out! Do not come out! It's a fucking car, don't lose your life, dumbass! Do not lose your life over a fucking car! Do not lose your life over a fucking car. Anyhow, those so, are the kind gentlemen that are doing this reverse Uber on them. Yep. Now it's it's interesting though. Uh, so when I saw that, of course, my first thing is I got mad. Now Rich and I were talking last night, and Crump, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this too. We actually talked tactics. <laughs> uh. uh wwyd uh what would you do in this situation and uh, i'd love to get to that in a moment too well i mean of course you have a mortar set up in the backyard with various targets pre-programmed and you just dial them in oh no i have a mortar set up like 1600 yards away and i i boof wang my boy bleedy yo <laughs> send it no i'm kidding with um, the atac yeah i don't send I don't, it here I, yeah, I, I just I don't want my cars to blow up too. Although I did maybe last night say that using energetics would be excusable in this situation. Anyway, uh, we'll get to tactics in a second. Depending on the level of insurance coverage you have. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, oh man, I insured that vet, you know, under this, but, but I insured that, you know. Nothing anyway, coma. It, it's looking at it like four dudes rolled up on this guy's This guy, so apparently he turned on the ring camera and said something uh i am i'm guessing i'm assuming that he said something like i'm gonna come out there i'm gonna come out there with a gun or something like that and then they started posturing i would think they they may have even been bluffing okay who knows if they were actually armed it's also hilarious that they're literally risking their lives for a car while telling someone to not risk their life for a car um and they also think that this is this crime no one's hurt in this crime because oh well they have insurance right they'll just get insurance and that dude that that whole you can afford it attitude is destroying uh, just the general public and especially in these places where people aren't even allowed to defend themselves this is insane now i did not see one gun I did not see one gun. Right. However, I would that he had one. I would absolutely assume that now be he has his hand inside a crossbody bag. People typically he did have it very high. Now, obviously, I'm looking at this 
seeing it roll over and over and over. So it's like, uh, did he have a gun? Maybe, maybe not. But what yeah, I would but, absolutely yeah, yeah, who cares if he has it high? I mean, do you think that these bangers are gonna really know? How well, to no, carry I mean, gun? so what I mean by that is, um, it didn't look like there was enough room in the bag where his hand was for him to have a gun. But in that moment, if someone says they have a gun or postures that they have a gun, Dude, absolutely believe, believe them. Yes, believe them 100%. Like, no, you they, know. they say they're going to kill you if you come out. And then that's the other piece, the verbal aspect of it. They are literally threatening you with death right like that dude in texas that came into that uh restaurant with a plastic gun no one was like oh that might not be real dude shoot shoot so i mean if right if you right and, that... and, and, dude i i just remember that that was the and that that guy the the hero or mm -hmm. as we would call hero other people's might say something different was never found correct he was found Oh, he, he didn't uh, invite himself to the police department for uh, uh, he ended up being found. But in, initially, he didn't contact police. He didn't turn himself in. He didn't go. He didn't do anything. They mm -hmm. eventually came to him. Uh, I don't know what the status is of the shooting, but I would say he was absolutely 100 percent justified. However, I will add that some of his actions from the booth to the door did appear to be punitive and you can't just shoot someone in the head while they're on the ground because you're upset like take that also biatch like it, you have to be able to live with what Hold you're on. doing but you have to be able to live with what you're doing from a moral perspective too well if he's right. already nah, never. i'm just not well that, that's what it's it, don't think of how we think about it think how a prosecutor thinks about it especially in houston anyway wait did, did is he spying on me do you do you have like surveillance aircraft or something like that yes there's a little cupola on top of the hughes compound southern command that dispenses things if you guys understood the level of insanity of precautions that we take <laughs> There you the go. level of surveillance that we obtain. Flying Rich is always watching. Pew Tang, what up? Oh, um, shout out to, uh, by the way, to Gideon. Um, I have uh, a new assembly I put together, 365 box. at most parts with Gideon, uh, a Gideon judge, and that thing is fire. Finally got it all together, and I'm going to be like posting some pictures on Instagram. Here you go. Here's your Gideon plug. Oh, I got Gideon. Bam. Ooh, is that the LPVO? It's the LPVO. Oh. oh. I'm plugging PR triggers. I'm plugging PR triggers. I think my PR trigger box is rearranged. Not yeah, with since you only have the box. Yeah. The empty box. But so that's, empty well, that's box. legal in Florida. So going yeah. back to uh, our video uh, presentation yeah. of the evening. So Let's talk tactics. one of one of the first questions in tactics is, do you live in California or Polk County, Florida, where Grady Judge yep. is your uh, sheriff? Yeah, dude, I love Grady Judge. I, I I tried to get him on the show, and so far no answer. I don't know if yeah, I can stalk awesome. him. We love you too, so, Peter. I love and, and George, uh, so, by the way, guys, use uh, use code Putang dat as with two Z's and you'll uh, pay an additional ten dollars for your order. <laughs> so uh, Grady Judd usually says, please arm yourself as a citizen and shoot these people and bring them to room temperature. It's mm -hmm. cheaper for all of us. Yep. No legal costs, no court, no trials, no putting them up in the jail and feeding them. And Make them room eat. temperature. Take care of the problem yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you have a problem, you know, with your aim or accuracy, we'll train you how to shoot. Yep. And, and, um, hold on. Are you guys giving away $230 gift code 
for Gideon Optics on this show. Ooh. Hey, well, remember, we? Pew Pew Tang, right. I haven't done my giveaway yet, so don't go too giveaway crazy because I still have the two optics to give away next week. I just got to strike. You're doing a giveaway? Oh. oh. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, Grumpy. That's all you. No, it's all I, you, baby. Man, do, we, do we have a code like that, Pew Tang? Do we? Have, got my first I think, Geisler trigger. Great trigger, but not worth 240. I'm assuming he uh, means Geisley. Geisley? Geisley, yeah. He yeah, spells guys a, like I do. His first Giselle trigger. I dude, I would I would say Geisley triggers are absolutely worth it. You know what other trigger is absolutely worth? Q Tank says yes, do it. What are we doing? Do we're we doing know something a giveaway? Wrong? We're doing a giveaway doing a right now. All right. You know uh, what other trigger ahead. is worth two hundred bucks? Man. Another trigger that's worth two hundred bucks or more, really. Oh, the trigger is... is wait, we doing an optic or a trigger? What do we do? No, sorry. I was talking about what one car was or what uh oh, D B yeah. Cooper was saying. Okay, so backing up. Putang, who is also Putang Bob of Gideon Optics. Shout out to my boys. Oh. I can't believe I forgot I was wearing a Gideon shirt. Um, Jezebel Trigger. Um, Putang is offering the viewers of John Crump Live uh, to participate in a giveaway for a free optic from Gideon Optics. Whoa. All you have to do is do hashtag John's not gay to enter. No, no, no. I'm just it's kidding. It's hashtag Putang. Oh, nice. Hashtag Putang. Oh, you should have did ha hashtag Putang dat as with two Z's. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Putang that as. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. So hashtag Putang and people will... Um, uh, be able to enter in like right now. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I was trying to minimize that so you can wow, hear Rich. Can you take down that short so so he can uh, share stop. the uh yeah that way you can share the uh uh which one call it um so there for people that are in the live Hashtag chat Peking, we'll we'll do it um in about uh 15 minutes dollars wait, nice. wait 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 supply as well two hundred Explain, uh, explain to them what what that uh, what that means. Do okay, um, okay. We're gonna do this for ten minutes, and then we'll do the other for ten minutes. We're we're doing two giveaways. Yeah, a two hundred dollar gift certificate to JFD Supply. Whoa, 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 whoa! All right, all right. So, go ahead, P Tang, enter that in. So yeah, Putang hashtag Putang gets you in. Putang, it will get you in. Um, wow. So I'm we'll impressed. do uh, two drawings. Uh, the first one would be for the getting in optics. The second drawing would be for the uh, the two hundred dollar. We'll just roll it with the one we can do multiple drawings. Wow. I hey Putang nice. JSD Jordan, all those guys, the whole yeah. team is awesome. Thanks. Yes, awesome. That's cool. And yeah. and I like how usually when people have a, a rough day, the last thing they want to do is be kind to others. I love that he was like, Hey, it was a tough day at the shop. So I want to do something kind to contribute to others because that lifts got the message, Bob. His spirit, you know? And uh hashtag dark cheating. Hey, do you think I would personally take it myself if I were to win? Um I, I did do, but okay, so I I, I don't know if they have. Dan Walsh is out there. Dan Walsh is a great reporter. Good guy. Oh, okay. Shut up. Um, Good guy. He's helped me out. I, I was on like one time I couldn't make an appearance on a show. So I called him up at the last moment and go, hey, I need you to go talk about this. He's like, it's like I don't know anything about it. He's like, well, let me tell you about it. And now you're going to have to go talk about it on national TV. <laughs> wow, cool. Oh, no, Kurt, I would get. I would give it away now. I wouldn't wait because I, I I have two uh, Gideon optics I'm giving away on my next giveaway, but I've been adding a bunch of stuff to uh, to the giveaway. Yeah, th cool. thank you. Oh, and, and speaking of giveaway, I, I did drop the link earlier, but FlyingRich.com. I'm doing a giveaway, so uh, yeah, wait, enter. Wait, you can enter daily. Yeah, you're using my giveaway account. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn right, I am. You're not using no, it. No shame in that. No, I'm gonna give away a. Th flamethrower soon he said if rich so, wins it's rigged because uh because you uh, said no, it's not an, an, an eligible to win i got the yeah, text I'm, bob 
if you guys ever think we would actually win and take it and be like, yes, our own yeah. crap, right? yeah. that would be like some other group of people that did. But have any, no, have any access to the back end. No, so okay, so I think what he was Hello, saying is, boys. remember, he, 23 months ADXR. Thank you so much. Like almost a year, man. That's freaking nice. fantastic. Nice. You mean almost two years? Fearless almost two Orca. Years. Yeah. How's it going? Fearless Orca, my guy. Great to see you. Oh, boy. So uh, I think what he was saying is that he saw you go, oh, Putang, I got I got your text. Right? So I think he was saying, like, oh, if Rich wins oh. the Gideon Optic, it's a, uh, you know, it's a uh, But he no, was he, he was said, joking. all right, the text, he says, I'm making the codes now. I'll text them to you to distribute to the winners. So yeah. that that's what, what he texted me. Because I'm actually, so I tested the stupid StreamYard on my phone today. And it mm -hmm. worked. You know, this is my old phone. Mm -hmm. I go to set up. It didn't work. Mm. And so I'm actually using my phone phone right now. So if I get a text, I can see it on my watch. You know, It looks like a lot of people are actually coming in and coming out. I would put that uh, banner back up. No, no, I am. More I'm dangerous change freedom, it. please. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> More dangerous freedom, please. I'm changing it. That's awesome. I'm just uh, uh, adding see. the second price too, since we only didn't have the, we didn't have the second price listed. So yeah, since so, since we're Putang to win a Gideon optic or whoa whoa, so it's we're doubling up on the Putang or two hundred dollars. Yep. Wow, cool. Yep. Winner's choice. Uh, for first the one guy that wins, you have to be here to respond, and well, then the second. I think he said, "and." I know, but we're gonna do two. Oh, two. oh, oh. Okay, two. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So yeah. the first person so gets the two different the, the Gideon or the GF, uh, JFD gift card. So we're and gonna then, roll twice. Basically. Second person, correct. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, so That's, how? Okay, yeah, how about this? As oh, go ahead. As Triple R Kid said, "Dang, that's badass." It is. Dang. That's badass. Dark, I tried to tag the ATF in the DLD picture for the contest, but I found out we don't have a local ATF office or anyone or anywhere close. What else should I tag for you, Dark? Don't tag me in the sun. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you don't Do have you like a Trump storm office? the ATF booth. You are lucky. Um, I don't read the the ATF doesn't raid me. I read the ATF. Yeah, for real um man i don't know what uh i have to learn more about about your your picture maybe we'll chat offline or something um so hold on so real quick uh going back to uh what we were saying maybe while we wait to do this giveaway which shout out to gideon optics jsd patmos pr triggers Ballers. eagle shows uh and uh taint big deodorant. reno <laughs> huh big reno shows big, big reno shows um, Big oh yeah, yeah yeah for sure yeah I, and they I have one other one that I can never remember yeah I'm not sure <laughs> um, do FBI is down the street picture time <laughs> um, okay sorry maybe while we wait to do this giveaway maybe we should discuss tactics uh, for that type of situation where okay you have four people outside of your house. And I'm thinking from from the perspective of that video, right? You have your door, you have one, two, three, four cars, you have four bad guys, one right here, and three literally lined up beautifully. I mean, I can take out three people at least, and three neighbors. So these are some of the things you have to think about. It's uh, split second decision. Well, if so you shoot like Zippy. Peace out. Is that Zippy the Strange? Just with yeah, a, yeah. a different yeah. uh yes. Zippy D S M Lee is Zippy the Strange? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the same icon he uses. Emoji. No. I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's uh, Mac shows Midwest. That's right. That's Mac shows, right. yeah. So this is some of the things Rich and I were talking about yesterday. Uh what would you do uh, assuming that you were going to protect yourself and your property and i know what people say don't and, kill and grady judd was your sheriff yeah 
if you were going to approach them, what would you do? What what would you grab? How would you do it? And what were the considerations? Yeah, I'd Rich, grab an alligator. Uh, well, I mean, I, I was thinking like an AR or an MP5 with a binary trigger, like pop, 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 pop. You, know, yeah. you, you probably make quick work of the dudes, especially if they're standing in a row. That mm-hmm. that that works pretty good. I mean, I I honestly love the fact that they did not have if, if they were armed and and they're posturing as if they're armed so believe them i love the fact that they didn't have guns out at ready or low ready or so that that gives you a tremendous advantage if you were to so engage we're not we, talking right, about so if we're... engaging is lawful moral immoral we're just we're just talking if you were to engage so I, I think there's a couple of questions. So it's armament. What what equipment would you use? And then the tactic. Do you shoot through your window? Do you run out the back window of your house? Do you grab a step ladder, jump up on the roof? Yeah. Uh, you can bring my mom and ask her. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, she's the running, shoot him in the back. That's what my mom would say. Bouncing Betty sprinkler heads. <laughs> so uh personally we talked about this last night and and the first thoughts are you know set up some type of distraction up front where their you know attention is to be focused there are several different ways you can do that so if you can keep talking to them through the ring camera somehow yeah but then if the audio comes back to you and you take your phone and you go so just be aware of everything right but if you were to egress out of a different position and then come back around and flank them, uh, like that would be did. like your mom did. Well, However, if well, you were to so do that, it, it would just real quick, if you were to do that, yeah. it changes your advantage. So at, at, at that advantage, your advantage there, looking at them the way that they are, is you have a guy assuming that he's armed and you have three literally lined up. I mean, how stupid could they be? Um, if, if you're, if anyone out there has any tactical training, you don't walk close to your boy. Okay. You position security spread out, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't, you don't walk too close to walls. You don't walk too close to your buddies. You don't walk, you, you know, whatever. So that's, you know, people can but, do their let own me, training. Let me just tell the story about my mom. Okay. I don't know, baby, because people probably don't know. Uh, should I show the uh, the short? Sure. <laughs> just, or just describe it. Yes. Show the short. You do both, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to do, uh, do it so my mom can do it in her own words, so just bear with me, guys, just, to, just so you can see what we're talking right. about. So the considerations are, is. like, injuring uh, innocent bystanders, yep. damaging your own property, uh-huh. If if you do a shoot, um, will they confiscate your firearm? So are yes. are you going to run out there with your guys like super duty? Nope. Or or are you going to use your PSA? Your... If if they were one to four hundred yards out, they're getting super dutied all day. If <laughs> because of where they are, um, I I last night when we were talking, uh, did you break out your AK of... with the iron sights? I mean, that's an option, but I'm going to go shotgun and I'm probably going to go with wh- whatever it's called, a kneel loadout, which is you have a slug in the chamber and a tube full of buckshot. And I'm going to slug dude with the crossbody purse. And then I'm going to buckshot those three homies chilling there. So, All right, here it is. This is my mom. This is how what she would do because she did do it. Hey, everyone. I'm here with my mom and I got a question for her. Mom. When we were little, my sisters and I we were very, very little, and someone tried to do a home invasion. What happened? Well, I saw him at the back door, and I saw him fooling with the knob on the door, and I knew he was going to try his best to get in. And with them being so little, I had to protect them, so I went out the front door with my Saturday night special, and I went back in the back, and I surprised him. I shot him. <laughs> and then he ran and I shot him again. That's my mom. Because <laughs> she was afraid he was going to come back. Didn't want him coming back. Yeah. He neutralized the target. No, he didn't come back. <laughs> he didn't come back. Anywhere. Somehow. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you got to love it. You got to love it. I mean, it, yeah, times were different too. So there was yeah, a time. So depending on your sheriff, that's the way to do it. I was Fairfax County. That was Fairfax City, actually. Back then, the Fairfax uh, was very different. It it was still... But that, that was 40 years ago, Crump. Yeah. Right. We had like a little farm in Fairfax City, like actually in the city limits. Yeah, I mean, it it was literally, even though it was still decently, you know, relatively densely populated, if that's a word, whatever. Um, it 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 was still kind of like uh, the Wild Wild West out there, you know. Um, you know, I I remember even when I was a kid, and I was fresh twenty one, and I had to draw down on on somebody out. I went to the shopping center next door to where the event happened. And I went to the cop and I was like, dude, this guy pulled a knife on me and I had to draw my gun. And he was like, did you shoot him? I was like, well, well, no. I, why didn't you shoot him? I, what? <laughs> I, I, I didn't have to. He said, I would have shot him. I was like, Whoa. <laughs> like I'm sitting here like, thank God I did not have to shoot that man. And he probably never pulled a knife on anyone ever again. Uh, but like it, it just the idea of that was like now same thing you know whatever 10 12 15 whatever i don't even know how many years later i can't do math um if i were to run into a cop and be like hey uh a guy just pulled a knife on me and i had to draw down him he'd be like are you armed are you armed you know <laughs> like completely different like okay we're gonna need to get the serial number on that i'm gonna need to get a butt swipe uh butt swab Man. i'm gonna need you know it it completely different direction this area for the the whole virginia you know top area has changed anyway i'm sorry i'm running my mouth so uh so shotgun. Let, slug the dude shotgun. buckshot the other guys and as they're running away just hear them saying ow 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 getting little 36 cal balls all up in them you know you know uh you know who sean strickland is yeah. Um he's a UFC fighter champion, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. badass. Yeah. And also very oh, into yeah. guns. You know, he got home invaded. Really? Oh yes. Yes, I remember this. Yeah, he got home invaded. I remember. He didn't have to use jujitsu because he was he walked around his house armed. Nice. So, so what happened? He held him at gunpoint. Call the police. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah you but... make the guy dial. It's like, hey, pull your phone out slowly <laughs> and dial 911 and turn yourself in. Dang. He made him call on his own phone? I'm just saying, what would you do? I'm just saying. Oh, oh. Because that's what I would do. I'd be like, hey, got a cell phone? I'm oh, still no, thinking about it. Where is it? I'm still thinking about those four dudes out front of the driveway, man. I, I, dude, my first thought would still be to, to you go see the for You went home invader or some guy like, uh, he was trying to, I guess, I don't know what he was doing. I'll, I'll show you the video. There's a video of it. So, all right, we, we can't make the people wait forever. So oh, enter Pew Tang, hashtag Pew Tang. Yep. to win a Gideon Optic, and then the second drawing is going to be for a $200 gift card. Yeah. For a Baller. chance to win. No, well, chance well, it, 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 depend, it depends on what yes. the winner chooses. Oh, yeah. the winner chooses? It's winner's choice? So okay. winner's technically choice. what it is, is the first, the Gideon is a $230 credit to Gideon, which gets you most things on Gideon, uh, or a $200 JSD supply gift card. That's sweet. Yeah. So the guy's doing something to his car. Here comes Sean Strickland. <laughs> I tried to walk away. Punched him. Nice. <laughs> the gun. I was like, <laughs> dude, I, I watched one today where a dude had was chased with a knife and he had to run away and draw his gun from a pocket holster while running Dude, the gun hard. came out and the pocket holster was still on the gun and then he managed to two-hand it rip off the pocket holster and guess what he did 
through he the getaway? To, he had to charge the gun. Then he charged what? the gun. Yes. Then he charged the gun, fired off a warning shot. Didn't hit him. He's being chased by a man with a knife trying to kill him, by the way. And then he goes like this because he desperately did not want to kill this guy. So he pistol whips him in the head. Gun goes off. Shoots him Who in the enter? temple. Instantly enter, dies. To enter, all you have to do is type hashtag putang. We're going to be drawing in a couple minutes here. Yeah. Dude, I could not believe that that dude... Big money, big money, big money. ...was unscathed. Like, I, I, everything went wrong, and it still went right, right? And usually, it, it depends. It's Sometimes, everything can go wrong. So I, and... I am not... You know, first off, in, in an encounter like that, you don't want to be close enough that you're giving somebody the gun. You don't, yeah. you don't want to be within six feet your your firearm shouldn't be within six feet of somebody. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have a great chance. We have 62 people in here, but only 27 entered, so... Are you kidding yeah. me? Dude! Dude, hashtag Pewtank to enter. Is this like the entries? Creality giveaway? What What do you mean? What creality giveaway? I don't know what Creality is. I mean, as creality? far as giveaway. I don't think we've ever done a Creality giveaway. Oh, didn't uh, hold on. Didn't I offer to give away my old Ender 3 at some point? But I don't think we ever drew for it. Well, we're drawing in here. It's Rich, one foot uh, roll. And what yep. you would do is just contact Rich because he has the codes, I think. By the way, yeah, uh, so DM me on uh, IG. So Flying Rich Official. By the way, I just want to add that uh, I drew my handgun on a man that drew a knife within 21 feet of me. And I, uh, I was arguing with a guy that used to work at the shop that I used to work at, and he was sitting there telling me how it's physically impossible to draw your firearm and to get a shot off when a man with a knife is within 21 feet. And I said, well, that's just not true. Well, he, I mean, if they're running at you full speed, it depends. it's going to be hard. Absolutely. It, it, but that's the thing. It depends on so much. Shout out to the leader of the Replay Mafia, Razor JB. What's up, brother? All right. Razor JB. How's it Razor, going, buddy? To draw this? Yeah, I think I'm. I think I think we're ready. Right. First one, it's going. Let's see who gets the hey win. Dun, 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 dun. Here, let me let me it's move. Not John Crump, the, it's not. Oh, the... ooh, Chris from the 740 was there. Razor JB, oh, dude. Razor oh, JB. Oh, that's good. Whoops. Here, hold on. Love let me. Guy. Razor JB wins that. Let me well remove deserved. the banner. Oh, you got okay. So right. he gets a choice of a, a $230 Gideon optic code or a $200 JSD code. Dude, that's incredible, bro. Yo, Razor JB, Ballin. let me just say every single live stream I do, Razor JB goes, watches the following day, and he mm -hmm. comments replay mafia. Always, and then he leaves like six comments about our commentary. Like uh, he's so committed oh, to our community. What is this? I love it. What? 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 Oh Ooh. no way! No Ooh. way! I, so Razor JB has sent me stuff for free for builds that I was doing, and has offered to send me stuff for like current builds I'm doing. He is so, also. All right. If you guys know this, he's also the president of the Geisley Super Duty Fan Club. It is going once more. Wow. J -H. J -H. J -H. congratulations we're j h here j h got to be present to win must gotta be, be present to win present a j h and remember in live streams people may be behind so you got to give them a, a you yeah know, right, give them time. time i mean we can actually so draw like a one j right, h moving along contact me <laughs> yeah uh -huh. flying j h you on the clock we got five minutes to respond yeah, yeah definitely reply in the chat. And this is my IG. You hit me up, I'll get you the code. Flying Rich Official. So R R Razor didn't get it because Razor decided that he wanted to pay it forward. Yeah, the wow. fact that Razor what JB a did that. Yeah, he's awesome. So JH, you are uh, you got about four minutes left. Yep. Now you got three minutes. I got three minutes. Now two minutes. Remember, you can you can still enter the second one by doing Pew Tang. At Pew Tang. Yep. 
And guys, you cannot code. I've gotten a few messages. You cannot use code pewtang.s with two Zs. Uh, that was a joke. When I figure out how to... JH, all right, we got JH. Hey! The all right. Do you want the, do you want the Gideon Optic $230 Gideon Optic gift card, or do you want the JFD $200 gift card? So, yeah, t- tell us which one you want, JH, and hit me up with your deets, your contact information on IG, and I will get you the code. And for the second one, well, hold on. Does not want optic would be great. Thank you. Okay. 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 All JFD. right. Hit me up. So this is for the uh, for the JFD two hundred dollars JSD gift card. Gift card runs now. Ron Bear. Hey, oh, hey cool. Dude. Long time my viewer. Yeah, of all of our $200. All right, so Ron Bear, same thing. Hit me up on uh, Flying Rich Official on IG, and I will dispense the codes to you, gentlemen. Yeah, you know. That's, congratulations, guys. You know he's present. Yeah, there he you is. Know, Look at that. Is. All right, so hit up okay. Rich, and get up. with that, we're going to end the show. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, this wait, before, before we go, one last pimperage. Uh, so flyingrich.com, I'm giving away a $250 carbon fiber tripod. So what? Join. Yeah. Yep. So no go way. to flyingrich.com. And we'll and see you tonight. Guys. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Uh, 10, 10 p.m. on Rumble. On All right. Podcast. See you guys later. Bye. And don't forget, I'm Dark with DLD After Dark. You can find me at DLD Hardware and other places in, in, in the world with DLD. We love you. Bye. I'm Street.